Good morning and welcome to another episode of A Cuppa With. Got a special one today, and so I hope you've got your brews. Usually this is for people telling their stories, mental health mindset and everything in between. But it is Autism Awareness Week. So, I thought I'd do something different. And who else to speak to you when it comes to autism than Jaden, my son. Hello there, I'm Jaden Hayes. I am nine years old, and I'm soon going to be ten. Jaden was diagnosed with autism um, on the autistic spectrum when he was three. And we've managed to keep him in mainstream school all this time, haven't we, baby? Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So what do you want to say? So, this... So, I love... So, I loved to record because I, I may be able to be together with it by YouTube and loads of stuff like that sponsored and more well uh, it's a bit it's, I'm not gonna lie to you it's a bit weird doing this with my son because Jaden has an interesting way of speaking and obviously for people who don't know I mean he's on my vlog I make no shame of showing my family because I'm proud of my family and um, one thing's for sure it's been an interesting ride with Jaden yeah uh, we've it was fun right wasn't it yeah when he was little littler how old was I you were when we realized you weren't speaking properly you were one and a half going on two and then for sure, when you're going to go into was, so to was, nursery. Was that 2011? Mm -hmm. He was going to go into nursery. And we all, we was concerned, like your mummy and dad, well, me and your daddy was concerned that you weren't speaking properly. Mm -hmm. But because you said words, it wasn't too much of a problem. Until we went into, when you went into nursery and you couldn't say words, could you? No. No. So, so I couldn't even see something. And you couldn't ask for anything, could you? Yeah. So we got to get to see a doctor about how you spoke, didn't we? Yeah. Because you could say stuff. <laughs> and even now, it's still in third person. Okay. It's not. It's not just saying that's like I am. It's Jaden. Okay, it's, yeah. And you say sister. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I say sister. Rather than Zoe. Yeah. Yep. And then you was diagnosed. We went through loads of tests, didn't we? And you had to see lots of doctors. Yeah. And you played games with some of them, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> yes. When was that? When was that? That was when you were free. I wonder if it was 2012 or 13. It was 2012, but you got your statement for people who don't know, people who are on uh, kids that are on the spectrum or with any learning disability, they have to have a statement to state that they have a learning disability or a neuro disability. And Jaden got his statement pretty quick, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. And. We was unsure whether or not he was going to stay at school because of mainstream school because you kept wetting your pants, didn't you? Yeah. And you wasn't settling very well. And no, I wasn't. But you were trying. Yeah. You were trying really, really hard, weren't you? Of course I was. And it got a bit tough, didn't it? Yeah. And that was because... Jaden doesn't really like to play with other people, do you? Not really. Not really. Not at school. He likes to spend time on his own. That's quite an autistic trait. To... Well, I love playing games with someone. I know, but before you didn't. Now you understand a bit better, aren't you? Okay. Mm. So, what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. It's just a different way of thinking and a different way of playing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got that now. And 
you managed to take the year two sats, didn't you? Yeah. Which was an accomplishment on its own. Mm -hmm. Because they, they really didn't know how he was going to manage it. And I give props to his year two and three teacher. What was her name? Year two and three. That's Mrs. Farwell. Yeah. She was an amazing teacher. And still is an amazing teacher. And she's helped Jaden quite a lot. She's helped Jaden. And I still say to this day, I mean, me and his dad can only do so much. But if it weren't for her, I don't think he would have stayed in. I don't think he would have stayed in mainstream. Because mm -hmm. she said... And this is credit to any mainstream teacher that is who has an autistic or on the spectrum or Asperger's or ADHD in mainstream. Her words were, as long as he wants to learn, I will fight to keep him here. And that was amazing, wasn't it? Because it meant that you could stay in mainstream and you tried the SATs and you even managed to do most of them, didn't you? Apart yeah. from one English one. Mm hmm Because mm. you got a bit upset with that one, didn't you? What What have I got upset of? You got upset over the English exam, didn't you? And Miss Farewell had to come and get you. Did I? Yes, but it was a while ago, so you probably don't remember. Um, Probably it was like when I was in year what? Year two. Yeah, so that was 2015 to 2016. He does like his numbers, don't you? Yeah, and math. And you love maths. Mummy loves maths too. Mm-hmm. Mm. So yeah, if it wasn't for her, I, I don't think he would have stayed in mainstream. And you still have his difficulties now, don't you? Uh-huh. But you've smashed all expectations. Uh, to be fair, I think this is just a little bit of bragging as well. Hmm, I'm proud, so... But it's not easy seeing the world different, is it? Not really. Because you don't always understand people, do you? Not really. What don't you understand about them? Um, somehow, I forgot their names, but I know, I know what they look like. Yeah, I do that. <laughs> all the time? Not all the time. But yes, I do that quite a lot. Um, what else? What else do you find hard? Yeah, I think there was some tough. There was some tough questions that I have to ask. Oh, what's that then? Then it was like many, many answers I sh should give because somehow it's a little bit tough. Where? Where were the questions? I don't know, but it was a, it was a bit, that was a bit long time ago. Ah, oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> now, now that's how you work. That's how you work. The only thing is, is when it comes to autistic children, for one, it drives me to that people think that when it, when they're autistic or on the spectrum, the spectrum, once they get older, they'll grow up a bit. This is not something they grow out of. They just learn to adapt to a society that is angled for the average child, the average person. Um, a lot of his traits, I can tell, come from me and his dad, which something that people have said to me about being tested before, but to be fair, we're just happy being us, aren't we? As yeah. Long as, as long as you get the extra help. Yeah, of course. So now it's just... So... Yeah, it's just Jaden. It's just Jaden. It's when he was first diagnosed. It really shocked me how the nurse, well, the doctor, told me she braced herself. She absolutely braced herself. She like, and I was like, "Why are you so scared to tell me?" Well, tell us. And she was like, "Because people have had a go at me, told me off." told me I was wrong she went I even had one person lunch for me because I told them their son was autistic and I was like well you can't ignore what's obviously in front of your face and the more you ignore it the less help they get mm -hmm. and Jade managed to go because we found out early and because he got the help he needed he managed to go from uh, middle functioning to 
high functioning, but he's getting new triggers, are you? Yeah. But that's it, that, that, that concerns me. In a world where we're more open to these sorts of things, and to be fair, this was, what, seven years ago, nearly? Whoa. Yeah. So it should be, like, about 2012? Mm. Well, it was seven years ago when he was diagnosed, and... I'm hoping in seven years we've come a little bit further, but the idea that you would attack a doctor because they've actually diagnosed a child when you knew there was something wrong or you wouldn't have gone there in the first place, only to tell the doctors that they're wrong. I mean, I understand it's a hard thing to come across, but surely you would love your child either way. I mean, it, it, I know it sounds like I'm judging, and I don't mean to be, but your child is your child doesn't matter what extras they got when people ask me when i go for Jaden's yearly reviews and they have to go through the list of what's right and what's what's right i'm going to use air quotes here what's right and what's wrong his right list is very little but his wrong list goes on and usually goes on for an extra couple of pages but they ask me and i'm like it's just Jaden. it's just you in it yeah just you. Mm -hmm. I accept him for what he is, so and he's just Jaden. Mm -hmm. So when people ask me to point out differences, I've integrated how much he needs his help. I've just integrated that. I've none of that, but I've had to set boundaries with other people. They can't say certain days with him unless they're actually going to do it. So we had a few confrontations with that, didn't we? Yeah. Where People would say they were going to come and see you or do something on some days or they cancel or it not happen. And he would be very upset because if you say something to Jaden, it's gospel, isn't it? If you say something, you ought to do it, haven't you? Uh-huh. Mm. I know that. That looks like a problem. Yes. And people that you don't need got upset, didn't you? Yeah. So and we... I don't want that to happen ever, ever again. So we've had to change it to people if they're not sure. You either don't say anything or you say soon because soon is under Jaden's version of understanding that nothing's certain yet but soon means it will happen just not sure when so it's his middle ground but these are the little things that we have to put in place and put boundaries with other people because we have to respect that don't we for you so you don't and we've not had a meltdown in a while yet the last meltdown he had was over a spider Oh, because I hate them. They always scare me. And when he's had meltdowns, it has been, some of them have been horrendous. I have had to pin him and to stop him from hurting himself. Um, and he slipped it off. But as he's got older, we've realised his triggers quicker and we know how to stop it. So it, it becomes, I know that, but we don't just tell other people but well, don't just do it for us we tell other people these are his triggers don't do it i think the more we speak about this sort of stuff and the more we understand that you know what there's nothing wrong we just they just see things differently it's not like it's wrong it's just different they're wired differently it's the same as if a car you don't expect to get into a different make car and expect you know the engine to work exactly the same everybody's engine works a little bit different doesn't it yeah yeah um but there is some major benefits to the way he sees the world and he is i'm gonna say that he's my happy little sunshine there is nothing negative that comes from this boy is there baby not really wait is there no <laughs> <laughs> it, everything's a mix like he was well i can't remember what it was but it was gray it was miserable it was even raining, like, you know, one of those grey wintry days. And he just looked out the window and went, Mummy, isn't it just all beautiful? And I was just like, what is? And he went, the rain. And I was just like, oh my God, sometimes you just, just see the beauty. And he just wants to make people smile and be happy. Hates people being upset, don't you? Mm. Just munching on a pepperoni at the moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's spicy flavoured. It is. Yeah. But um, there's also certain foods he started to find learn how to 
understand knife and fork properly. It's not that he didn't know how they worked, he just couldn't put the two and two together. Will you stop flapping your chops, please? <laughs> And he's, he's starting to learn how to do that properly. But these are all things he wants to do on his own. He does show great independence. If Jaden can do it on his own, he'll do it on his own, don't you, baby? Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm not going to get nothing out of him while he eats this, you know. I really should have given it after. <laughs> the thing is, from my side of things... Yes, there is a lot of appointments, there's a lot of checkups, he needs his medicines. And not only that, but with with a lot of um, autistic traits and, and Asperger's and ADHD and all that lot, it comes, generally they don't come on their own. you got to think, if your brain's wired differently, I'm sure your body's slightly wired differently as well. And Vivian <laughs> does have a dust mite allergy. And so that means we have to make sure we have allergy tablets at all times, because the first thing they said was... Oh, you got to throw out all, all soft toys. I was like, are you mad? I've got to make my boy upset. Because at the time, he had a toy that he took everywhere with him. And there was like, well, your option is to just give him an allergy tablet. I was like, oh, I'm just giving him an allergy tablet. Are you, you're telling me I've got to take something away that is precious to him. And that he, from a child that is easily triggered that will hurt himself. I'm sorry. Anybody can judge me for this. Yes, I know it's an allergy. But... I'd rather give him an allergy tablet than cause him to have a meltdown every time he remembers I've taken away his soft toys. Which, that's a, that's a, that's a thing that can happen sometimes. It's like they forget that it's happened. Then they remember and it's like they're reliving it all over again. Which is, if he was to remember every time I took his soft toys away, and there's a lot of them. Well, there was. There's not as many now. It's, my bedroom's now clean. Hmm. Yes, because I, we cleaned it this morning, didn't we? Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, and now it looks like looks like my bed. So my bed has moved as well. Mhm. Mm I don't know why. Because you were trying to play with a window. Okay. Also, that's another thing: is sense of danger. Jaden has pretty much none. So we have to deal with and and go around it as mummy's upset, mummy's not your friend, which is a bit harsh, but sometimes you have to go down the route. Don't judge me. Um, <laughs> he goes off my expressions in my face. If he doesn't understand a feeling, then I have to show it. Mm -hmm. Show him. He goes by vis like visual aids. So if he doesn't understand, if you don't understand what a feeling is, you have to look at mummy's face, don't you? Yeah. So if I'm happy, mm. <laughs> and if I'm sad, mm. exactly. You know that very well, don't you? Mm. Uh -huh. So he does need visual aids. But like I said, I never realised how much help and assistance he needs until we talk about it. Like other than that, I'm just like don't get me wrong, I'm getting fed up with McDonald's because he likes to have the same thing. He likes routine. And if we go out, it's routine, isn't it? If we are out and we need to get something to eat, it has to be McDonald's because... Yeah, I like I like in that restaurant. Yeah. We can get away with it sometimes when it's like special occasions. But because he likes his routine, it, it's one thing. And again, it's McDonald's. Yeah, I know it's crap, but so what? He, he, uh, he, I don't think you're allowed happiness, to... Happiness. Happiness. As long as it's not going over the top so what i really don't care so yeah just get a little cup of tea yeah little cup of tea actually quite a big cup of tea yeah i know it's a little bit bigger mm -hmm. and yeah i'm sure so for those who would who have just been diagnosed or well for their child being diagnosed even adults that have been diagnosed, you can still be diagnosed as an adult. Um, please don't fear it. There we are. I mean, don't get me wrong, yes, it is extra work. And we were told to put nappies on his when he was kept wet in the bed. But we was like, no, if we keep pursuing at this, he'll finally get it. And he did. Yep. <laughs> also, every autistic child, just like 
Every child is different. There is no two alike. They might have similar traits, and that's the same with any kids. They might have similar traits, but I can guarantee you, neither one of them will be alike. How they're triggered, how they're made happy, what, how they envision the world. They're all so different. They're all so very different. And they're brilliant. Yeah. But don't fear it. It's just a different way of seeing stuff. Explaining stuff. And to be fair, let's, let's just break this down a little bit. I need to explain clearly and concisely with Jaden what's going on, what's happening, how I'm feeling, how something has upset me, how something might have upset him, how we can work it out. Right? Clearly, concisely. You know, if the world did that, we wouldn't have a problem. If people were able to express their feelings and clearly, as I have to do with Jaden, think about it. How mental health would be so much better. Mental health issues would be helped immensely if we wish just to be able to express just express how we feel he's pulling faces at me now. <laughs> silly mm. it's a mat mm. what? need to climb up you need to climb up come on then yeah and sit next to you you need to sit next to you. come sit next to me uh, did you want to say anything yeah go on then so yeah it's the easter holidays we, we've been so we was Having so much fun in in those days. Hmm. The thing is, also, you're gonna know if you've got another child, you're gonna know a difference between the two. Like my daughter, when she was nine, ten, and ten, was basically a mini adult. She was back chatty. She knew her mind. You know, she literally was just how you'd expect the average child. Oh, you're going to, I don't care what anybody says, you're going to compare. Because you're going to be like, well, my daughter was walking and talking at nine months and never shut the hell up. Uh, and she's 16 now, so. Whereas Jaden took a little bit longer and that's where we knew there was an issue. He's actually born in the last year in 2002. Hmm, she was. And that's the thing, he's like... Just because you have two or three or four children, they're going to be different and you're going to compare. It's going to, you're going to stress a little because you're going to see the differences and how it would hinder from the average child to a child who just sees the world differently. You're going to notice all this and I'm going to go back to again, please, please. Please don't fear it. Don't yeah. stress. Yes, it's going to be hard getting through everything, trying to get to manage it all, getting so, a routine, then something changes and hell, everything's thrown out of whack. Like we go to on holiday every year to the same place. D luckily enough, we love it, but Jaden's comfortable there. And people ask me all the time why don't i go abroad and stuff like that and i have to think of what's best for him but incorporate it for all the family so we go to the same place every year because he's comfortable there it's bad enough that if they change entertainers that that's a bit upsetting for him but he can manage it it's not a way to have for him to have fun but incorporate how he sees the world and that's okay. Like, Jaden likes pretty lights, don't you? We like lights. We both like lights. Yeah. Mm. So, I always get him something flashy for his his birthday or Christmas. That's his way of having, most people, most kids are wanting extras and he just wants a light. This kid asks for maths books for Christmas. Yeah, I love maths. Mm. Like, and I encourage it. This this kid has gone through every maths book in Poundworld, because I thought we'll start small, Poundworld. Not Poundworld, Poundland. Um, then we moved up, tried other places, didn't we? And then we went to Wilco's and used all theirs up. Jesus Christ. Then, what else was there? Well, either way, we're now on to W. A. Smith's and we've gone through it all. The works, they've got some maths books. Yeah. But I encourage it. When you 
I know there's certain things like yeah there's always that idea of Rayman and stuff but it's brilliant they have you may they may have their weaknesses in some parts but they have their strengths in others and Jaden's is maths and music this boy can already play Harry Potter just by listening can't you yeah um, can I? Yeah. <laughs> um. I can't say it's not going to be tough. I can't say you ain't going to have to readjust your life. That I can't. Because you do. You have to readjust. But take it from me, it's so worth it. I'm only just being able to start doing what I do, want to do for my career. And he's going on 10. Um, but I accept that. I accepted that as soon as I realised what was going on. And to be fair, I didn't really know what I wanted to do anyway. So it kind of came in handy. <laughs> but you are going to have to readjust and change everything and sort stuff out and figure out appointments, figure out if... They're like ginger and take smell of turning to help him sleep, getting the right patterns in, waterproof sheets are a godsend. Um, not just for your for their bed but for yours too. Knowing that when we went me and his dad split, it was he's never really known me and his dad to be together because he split so young. We split when he was so young. But putting in the routines that, that are above at his dad's and at my house and adjusting for all of that me and his dad have a good relationship so we are able to help with each other when it comes to him mm. we do all right don't we yeah of course we do wait what number is that that's a seven yeah but i can't show it to everyone well no because it's by voice so what do you think of the world yeah it looks cool actually you can do everything in the whole wide world what's the best thing about being Jaden? yeah I'm, a, I'm an expert of maths but I'm also an expert of games mm, he does like his games If, I don't want to keep saying it's not easy, but it's not. But listen to how happy he is. Are you happy? Yeah. He does dance. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and my sister does archery. But we don't really watch him do, do that. No, because I have to keep you entertained for an hour. And there you go. Because I, I have to take her up to a archery because it's a bit of a distance. It means I have to sit with him for an hour and rather than just sitting, we've started going on hour long adventure, just an hour. But it's figuring out ways and that's the thing, is it's all an adventure. Some of the stuff we have done simply because he is who he is. I couldn't fathom any other way. Like last year we went to where did we go last year? So, so last year of 2018 where did we go in March last year Disneyland and he went with his dad it was the 25th it was the 25th anniversary of Disneyland Paris and we went and he was his group was the only inclusive group which is if you don't know what inclusive means it's the only special needs group doing dancing and what did you dance? What was your song? It was The Lion God or The Lion King. Lion King. I just can't wait to be king. And you could be queen. I could be queen, <laughs> yeah. And he got to dance and you came second, didn't you? Yeah. Which was a bit unfair considering they were only special needs group. Yeah. There wasn't there was... anything. They put him put him next to these group of girls which they were fantastic, but there was him and three of us that were younger than him, much younger than him. So, um, as well as, as well as 
a couple of them having special needs. Oh, excuse me. But he, they, they got cheered on by the, the judges and made special for some because of, of their issues and stuff. There's no way he would have been able to do that sort of stuff. And dancing has helped him with his autism, actually. It's actually helped him give focus, better focus. So, yeah. I think it's kind of influenced his love of music even more. When we've been on holiday, we've shown everybody you dance in the competition, have we? Yeah. And you won? Yeah. Well, second place. Mm. Which is not very bad. No, when we went to, when we went to Devon Valley. You won, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I won as these songs. So, yeah. All it these, was actually the best thing ever. All these things, they're amazing memories because Jaden is who he is. Yeah. And I couldn't be more proud. He's beaten every expectation. They didn't think he was going to make mainstream. He stayed there. And by the looks of it, he's staying there to the end. They wasn't sure how he'd be able to function properly day to day. He's managing. He's doing it. He's finally picking up now. For he's, he's not the education still works the bed, but, you know, so what? The progress is the better. And I see big things. I don't see this holding him back. I might need to adjust later in life and, you know, be able to talk to people about stuff, but I don't see ever see this holding him back. I, I see big things for him. And like any parent does, it's the same thing. Just because he's on the spectrum, I wouldn't see anything different. I have... You're going to be... You're going to be a big star. I still say I see big things for you. Yeah. But he is the sweetest person going. Last time I went swimming in year four. Yes. Random bits of information. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed our little chat. Yeah. It was fun. It was fun. Yeah. And I've got an insight into what it's like living with an autistic child or an autistic child on the spectrum. I'd say everybody's different. There's high, fu- low, uh, low functioning. There's chem and mobility issues. There is a lot to take into consideration. But this is just Jaden's case. Oh, excuse you, Piggy. Yeah. It was. I, I always do that when I have loads of food in there. I always burp. <laughs> So, you want to say goodbye? Yeah. Go on then. Hope you enjoyed this proper video. No, not video, podcast. Podcast. Hmm. A couple with both of us. A couple with both of us. And you. Yeah. And hope you enjoyed. So, like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs> You've been watching too on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> but thanks, Bibby. Yeah. So like, comment, share and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell. And I'll see you next time. Signing off. And on that note, <laughs> good day, good brew. <laughs>